Did you know that more than one person can manage a YouTube channel? And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Let's do this. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. There's an important distinction to make here. There are two types of channels, personal YouTube channels and brand accounts. Let's start with the personal channel first. From most YouTube screens, click on your profile image in the top right hand corner and go to the YouTube studio. From the new YouTube studio screen, you want to click on the settings button in the bottom left hand corner and from this pop up, you should see a permissions tab to the left. This will show you who has access to your YouTube channel and to invite a new manager, click on the invite button in the top right hand corner and type out email addresses to invite them to manage your channel. Below that is an access dropdown which gives you four options. These access levels pretty much explain themselves, so do make sure you trust the person you are inviting onto your channel to do what these permissions give them access to. And just to clarify, since it's not 100% obvious here, editor and above access means that these managers can upload videos to your YouTube channel. Once you're satisfied with your selection, click done and the invitee should receive an email which they can accept within 30 days to become a manager of your YouTube channel. On the same permissions page, you can update the access rights a manager has by clicking on their current role. From this drop down, you can also remove them as a manager from your YouTube channel completely. That's how to add managers for personal accounts, but what about brand accounts? Well, first of all, you have to convert your YouTube channel into a brand account, and we've done a full tutorial on how to do this and the benefits of doing that. But let's take a look at how you add managers for a brand account. We will start in the YouTube studio this time, but when you go to settings, you won't find a permissions tab on the left hand side. Instead, you must go to the channel tab, followed by advanced settings at the top of this section. Then down the bottom of this screen, you will want to choose manage your YouTube account. From this screen, click on the add or remove managers link and then click on the manage permissions button from this screen. Now the next screen depends on what role you have on the channel and it will govern what you can actually do on this screen. Those with owner access have full access to the YouTube channel and can also change the permission of other managers on the channel. Managers have full access to the YouTube channel while communication managers appear to be a bit redundant as they have no access to YouTube at all. I think in this instance, Channel moderators would be classed as communication managers and you do that in a completely different screen in the YouTube studio as you can see right now. And of course in the top right hand corner of a permissions pop up screen you can invite new managers through email and set up their permissions here as well from the drop down. Hello, I'm Rob and welcome to vidIQ, the YouTube tool and channel that educates you on your YouTube journey. If you want more YouTube tips, tricks and advice just like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and do this so that you're the first to be notified when we get brand new content out on the channel. Now, a couple more tidbits to add to what you've already learned here. Managers on personal accounts can add and remove others. They are similar to owners in a brand account. Yes, I know this gets a little bit complicated. Also, managers for personal accounts cannot yet access live control room and they cannot access the personal account through the mobile studio app. And one more thing for all types of channels, for the person who is invited to be a manager of a channel, make sure that you check the email is from YouTube before you click any links. There are all sorts of scams going around on YouTube. Make sure you don't fall foul of one. For YouTube beginners guys just like this, make sure to check out the playlist over here. And if you want to learn more about vidIQ, which can help you grow your channel, get more views and more subscribers, we've got our beginners guide down there. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy the rest of your video making day.